everybody and welcome back to Ochiba Wolf Collection. Today we are opening up the largest Sailor Moon Proplica to date. Welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Brooke. I'm your host and yes as you guys saw we are opening up the Sailor Moon Cosmos Eternal TRA. Look how big this box is. If you guys happen to be brand new here this is the very first video you have ever watched on my channel. I am a huge Sailor Moon collector. I do a lot of unboxings, reviews, and news surrounding the Sailor Moon franchise so if you guys are a huge Sailor Moon fan hit that subscribe button and join our growing pack on YouTube. Proplicas are life-size replicas usually of items from your favorite anime shows by Bondi. Now the thing with this one is it's not actually life-size. This might be the only Sailor Moon Proplica so far not to be actual life-size to the characters. They said this one is almost life-size. I got mine from Big in Japan, which is big in JAP.com. I gotta do a little shout out for them. Out of all of the proxies that I have seen so far, I'm not gonna mention names because a lot of these proxies are still good proxies, but I was a little disappointed to see some of the big name proxies out there if you wanted to get the version from Japan did not ship it in an outer box like this which protects your proplica because a lot of the proplicas especially the P Bondi exclusives like this one come in their own cardboard box for protection but they're flimsy they're not meant to be shipping boxes especially for an expensive collectible I gotta give Big in Japan a huge shout out for shipping them in a very secure box I mean the box suffered some damage but it's a sturdy box I know that the proplica is okay inside at least you know I hope so I have not opened it up yet we're opening up this together this is my first reactions with you guys I love you guys and I enjoy spending time opening up Sailor Moon items with everyone. Like honestly, really, I know a lot of you guys have told me it feels like you're just hanging out with a friend, opening up some Sailor Moon stuff. But I love that Big in Japan did this. A lot of people have reported to me, a lot of other collectors on social media, the place they bought it from, they just shipped it in the Proplica cardboard box and unfortunately it came damaged. I'm, I'm definitely not laughing at it. I would be very upset if I was in that same position. I just hope these companies learn from it because these are expensive collectible items. Please ship them safely and securely so we can protect that box. Let's be real, the boxes of the Proplicas are gorgeous. They themselves are a part of the collector's piece. I know a lot of you guys keep the boxes. This one's going to be hard to store though. <laughs> this is the Japanese release. Now the Proplicas, so far at least, have always had two different releases. They come out in Japan first and then several months later they will have an international release or a United States release. This one shipped at the end of January 2024 for those who did order it from Japan like I did. If you guys have secured a pre-order like from your own country in the United States or a different place, you will probably get it around, I think it said March or April. I will have a Sailor Moon Fan Network blog post down there in the description for you to click and go to all of the details about this Eternal Tiara if you want to know more as far as like the release dates for all countries and the retail price in yen and USD. Sailor Moon Fan Network is the site that I co-own with a few passionate Sailor Moon fans that keep you guys up to date on Sailor Moon news around the world and merchandise news and drops around the world. So if you're a big Sailor Moon fan, make sure you bookmark SailorMoonFanNetwork.com to stay up to speed. I always tell people, check that front page daily and you'll never ever miss a Sailor Moon update again. This is really awkward. I'm trying to open this up carefully. <laughs> Let me know if you guys received yours yet. Did you order it from Japan? How did they ship yours, by the way? Were you pleased with the shipping? Were you not pleased with the shipping? Look how thick this cardboard box is. It is thick. It's, oh my goodness. I love Big in Japan. This is not sponsored by the way. I bought this with my own money. Big in Japan, I've been using them for my P Bondi exclusive items, like Tamashi Web Store ex exclusive items since like 2014. They're definitely legit. Big in Japan used to get a bad rap. People would pre-order an item, they would pay whatever shipping Big in Japan charged them for at that time. And then when the item released several months, six months later, whatever, they would often, especially if it was a bigger item, request for more shipping. And this happened to me as well. So I definitely want to 
be transparent about what had happened. I would be a little upset that they had invoiced me another shipping. I'd pay it. And then when I got it in the mail, I made sure to check the shipping label to make sure that I was being charged accurately and not being overcharged for shipping. The first time I was overcharged, it's okay sometimes as long as you contact them, give the company an opportunity to correct it. Contacted them. They were like, that is what happened. We will refund you the difference. And so they did. Ever since I contacted them about that one issue, they have never overcharged me since. And that is exactly what I thought might happen with this one after knowing how large this product was. The shipping was pretty awful. If you guys want to share how much shipping you paid from Japan, feel free to. Originally, they charged me 6,500 yen when I pre-ordered it. In January, when the item came out, they asked for an additional 6,200 yen. In total, equaled 12,700 yen. Now I went back and I looked at the PayPal currency exchange rate at the time so I can give you guys exactly the cost in US dollars, how much I paid for shipping from Japan for this very large item. The first shipping converted to 46.43. The second shipping converted to 43.82. So total to ship this from Japan, not the price that I paid, just shipping was $90.25. Now this absolutely makes sense. I've been ordering big things from Japan for many years now, especially like the Dolphies. You guys remember the Dolphies? Those definitely cost around that same cost. In our post pandemic world, shipping rates are still pretty high. So this totally made sense, but I do want to say Big in Japan did not overcharge me. I made sure that they didn't. Everything was exactly what they paid for shipping, which is crazy because I know that they had to pay for this big box. They kind of maybe lost money on it, I think. This is that inner box that I was telling you guys about in the beginning, a lot of proxy companies, not big in Japan, but a lot of other ones were shipping them just in this. And this is not a very sturdy box. It's actually a thin box. The box that they ship this in is super thick, very protective. And they even included some of this stuff. So, you know, it wasn't being banged around in there. <laughs> so hopefully mine is okay. I'm not seeing any damage. As you can see, this is the actual Propica box. We do have Propica right here and then it tells you the name of the contents in inside. Even on this side right here, it says Eternal Tiare, Bondi, etc. I don't know which is the top and which is the bottom. This case is used solely for the purpose of protecting product during shipment. So I think they're trying to say, you know, don't ship it in this. This is just to protect the item. Put it in another outer box. This is the top because the bottom looks like this. So the top will have the tape that you need to cut to get to the product. These propicas are awesome. They are electronic toys of items from your favorite anime shows. And in Sailor Moon's case, they do background music. They have the Japanese voices. The newer ones come with the sleep mode, which has freaked me out before. Before I was completely aware of the sleep mode, it was the eternal article that I first discovered the sleep mode on. And I swear I thought I had a haunted Propica at first because the sleep mode would activate when nobody was messing with it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But now I'm fully aware. <laughs> that was a weird sound to make. The sleep mode that these proplicas are now coming with. Oh my goodness. It comes fully wrapped in an actual thick layer of plastic this time. That's, that's a nice feature. A lot of the other ones come wrapped in tissue paper. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. There we go. We just do that. I will be keeping this plastic bag to store this beautiful box in, in my collection. <sighs> oh, let me soak this in. I kind of just wanted to step away and set it on my chair so you guys could see this gorgeous box. This is a box that we haven't seen yet. It's very thick. We've got a different top here. I love, love, love this blue color. On the back here, we kind of get an example of how it can be displayed on the Holy Grail base that it comes with. Other details showing you how the lights work. We've got the Toei animation sticker here. Now, if you do buy yours internationally, it could come with a different color Toei animation sticker and it could come with some English 
warning stickers on the box. Mine is the Japanese version, so they are slightly different with what they put on the box. The boxes itself should remain the same, but like the stickers, like the Toei Animation sticker, and they might slap a warning sticker on there. Otherwise, they are the exact same product. So it really honestly does not matter if you order yours from Japan or if you order yours from a different country, like the United States, Canada, wherever you buy your anime merchandise, they should all be the same. The only difference is, like I said, those stickers on the boxes and the release dates. And of course, the price may vary. Usually it takes longer for the international ones to be released. I guess it takes three months to slap stickers on the box. So which part do we open it? I think we open it through the top here. I see some flaps. Yes, we do. This is a thicker box. Just so you guys can get an example, I'll, I'll turn it around here. Literally all I did was pop it open like that. <laughs> it kind of folds out like this where you can, wow, wow. Look at this. I hope you guys can see exactly how it's packed just like that. I love the Eternal Sailor Moon on the flap of the box. It is quite beautiful. So we got the manual that comes with these. It was just kind of taped onto a part in the box. We will take a look at it and I'll show you guys what it entails here. It does come with three LR44 batteries. That is something that I absolutely hate that they do. Now, not because that they include the batteries, but because they install them in the device itself, I believe they should not be installed just in case there's dead stock of these years and years later and they just corrode and could potentially ruin this beautiful collectible piece. But over the last few Proplica releases, they have all come installed for quote unquote testing purposes only. At any time when you guys want to mess around with your Proplica, you can refer to this little guide here, which we will keep this out as we uh, set this up, you know, because I'm going to need to know where the cover is and stuff. We've got this stuff in the box, protecting it so it doesn't shake around and shipping. Oh, the beautiful holy grail. Oh my goodness, that little piece of paper on it to protect it from getting scratched up. That's cute. Here's the other part of the base. <laughs> I don't think we need the box anymore. I'll just set that on the floor gently. <sighs> I, feel so, I feel like Sailor Moon herself. Got a piece of paper, a paper plastic. What am I saying? That was it, just that, holding this beautiful top together. <sighs> this feels way better than I thought. I've already watched a ton of people's reviews on this and they kept telling me that it had a different feel on it and it absolutely does. A lot of the other Proplicas were more, how do I say it, like silky feeling, like a shiny glossy feel touch, you know? Oh God, I'm explaining this awfully. This is more matte and you can tell that it's matte. The texture, I don't know if that, hearing that kind of gives you an idea. This is absolutely beautiful. I actually love the more matte that they went. Oh my gosh, I never thought in a million years that we would get a manga version of the Eternal Tiare. They both look very different, the 90s version and the manga version. In fact, we didn't really get many color images of the manga version until they rebooted the whole anime into Crystal, Eternal, and Cosmos, and then we were able to really know the exact colors of what Noko envisioned for Sailor Moon's final and most powerful magical item. We got the Ginzui Show or the Silver Crystal on top. It's just very hollowed out plastic. I will say this whole wand itself is very light. Just telling you guys for those who don't own it yet I know a lot of you guys will be buying this for your collection and in fact I think you should <laughs> this is beautiful the details are fantastic I feel like mine doesn't have any defects at all so far you know there are some shiny parts on here we've got shiny parts there shiny parts there shiny parts here and the shining parts are definitely gonna be more prone to scratches so be careful with those if you plan to cosplay with this or use this for anything else other than a display piece it's fantastic and I'll just stand up with it so you guys can kind of just see it in my hand like eternal sailor moon beautiful you do kind of feel like a sailor guardian holding this in your hand I love wands wands always make me feel so cool I, I, I 
Just take my word for it, I'm actually speechless currently, as you can tell. I'm just really soaking it all in that we have this. I mean, as far as like how they are treating the Propica line, oh my God, I don't even wanna get into this yet. But if you stick to the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you my exact thoughts on how they treat Sailor Moon Propicas here in the end. But I do wanna go ahead and test out the sounds, the lights, see how that works. I think it's this piece in the back that we remove. Just pop it out, yep. So you lift where the little, little, the top here, and it removes that, that cover piece. So you are able to get to the buttons. There's the insulator thing to get those batteries started. <laughs> Try that again. To get to the batteries, you have to get a screwdriver even, but the batteries are installed. This thing just came out. Shouldn't be any corrosion yet. Oh, it goes to tell you to change out the batteries with new batteries if you so desire, but I'm gonna use those till those juices run out. We always go for louder. That means it's on. So the only time you need this off is when you are needing to get to the batteries, to exchange the batteries, whatever, or to change the loudness of the Propica. Otherwise you can always keep this on and it just snapped in real easy. Now the way that we activate it is with the two buttons right here, starting from the top. So the two bottom ones are fake buttons, the two top ones are the real buttons, and they did a very good job at making them look like they're all the same. I mean, when you look closely, you can definitely tell the first two are actually buttons, but it's pretty close. That must have been after the 90 seconds and it goes into the hibernation mode. That was cool. So they call the top button button A and they call the second button button B. Each one of them does different things. Refer to the manual to get it to do anything that it can do. Like if you want it to do a certain sound, I'm just gonna kind of press them, mess with them a little bit. I'm not gonna go through all of the settings. You guys can do that when you buy this for yourself and experience it for yourself. I don't wanna ruin it for you guys, but let's go ahead and press button A one time, see what happens. I just found out when it goes into that hibernation mode, like it did, pressing the buttons will not do anything. You actually have to hold a button to bring it back to life or awake. I guess it was in sleep mode. So now we can press the buttons. The buttons are kind of finicky. You have to wait till the setting goes all the way through before it'll let you go to the second one I'm finding out, I think. No? Okay, you can continue to press them, then my button might be a little finicky. Sometimes it it works when you press it and sometimes it doesn't, I'm finding out. Let me know if your guys' is the same way. Are you having trouble like after you press it, nothing happens? Cause yeah, it will let you continuously push the buttons, but I have noticed one time it didn't go, or a few times actually, it didn't go through when I pushed it. And it could be that the testing batteries suck, to be honest, it might need a fresh pair of batteries to fully be functional. Let's press the B button. That must be the background music. If you guys haven't seen Cosmos yet, and I know it's not out yet internationally, but the background music slays. You get the idea, Sailor Moon says some lines in Japanese from the show. Now here's some more examples closer up. There's three total modes in color, the pink mode, yellow mode, and purple mode. I'll show you a few examples from each.
I showed you guys a little bit more of the light and sound features associated with the Eternal Tiara Proplica from Bondi. You guys, please let me know what you think of this down there in the comments. Is this one that you are definitely adding to your collection or is it too big, too pricey? Please, all feedback welcome down there in the comment section as long as you guys are kind and respectful and you think about not hurting other people's feelings because this is a safe and positive space here at, on an Ochiba Wolf collection on YouTube. I feel like, you know, Neo Queen Serenity or something, you know, just sitting here with a big old wand. <laughs> But yes, please let me know what you guys think of this Proplica down there below. Let me know if you're gonna buy for your collection or not. It's always interesting to know what you guys are out there buying and what you're not buying. <laughs> Can I just go on a slight rant for those who were curious? I teased what I was thinking about the Proplica line earlier on in the video. I absolutely think the way Bondi, Toy Animation, Tamashii Nations, whoever's out there, you know, behind the scenes deciding which magical items from Sailor Moon to make as Proplicas is definitely not doing it in the way that I would have. I would have started from season one from the 90s. Oh my gosh, my, my baby boy's crying out there. If you guys hear him crying, he has separation anxiety from me. His mama tried to drown him out. <laughs> you might not even be able to hear him, but he's definitely crying out there. As I was saying, I would have milked the heck out of every Sailor Moon fan and made Proplicas of almost every magical item starting from the 90s first season anime. I would have done like all the transformation sticks of all the guardians. I would have done all of the wands that Sailor Moon has and other characters. I would have done all the compacts and brooches. I would have done like the deep aqua of mirror, all the talismans basically of the outer Sailor Guardians, the space sword, Pluto's garnet rod, the silence glaive. Now that we we have this as an example of how large they're willing to go. I wholeheartedly believe that they could do others, but the way that they're skipping around, they're doing some from the 90s, they're doing some from Crystal Eternal Cosmos, and then they're just gonna go and re-release a different color version of the ones that they already have released. Oh my gosh, it's a complete disaster. It drives me crazy. Does it drive you crazy? It drives me crazy. Now, I don't mind if they do recolors of the Proplicas. In fact, I love the recolors. I, I've definitely been buying them. It irks me that they're not releasing new Proplicas that they've missed. Like we, they, we never got the 90s finished. They're sure the heck probably not gonna finish the reboot anime Proplicas. They've missed out on a lot of those. It's just sad to see that they could have milked it because if you guys can think back of 90s Bondi Sailor Moon toys, they basically made it all. Now they didn't make, you know, large, large size wands and toys and they didn't ever make a Pluto Garnet Rod. That's a missed opportunity and I know that they could do it. In fact, I really do wish this was life size. I know it's very close. There's got to be a way to where they can manufacture this. Could be like slight assembly to this to make it exactly life size. Like maybe part of this rod you you would have to screw in maybe to make it life size like for Pluto's garnet rod or Sailor Saturn's silence glaive for instance which are super big. Oh my gosh, they're like what? 5 6 foot tall in some cases. They would need to definitely have some assembly and piece them together on your own. But I absolutely think it's possible and I really do hope they do it. I'm remaining hopeful. Like I said, I'm very, very mad on how they have released Sailor Moon Proplicas. I don't know, it's a slap in the face, I feel like. <laughs> yeah. I can make a whole video on how awful Toei Animation treats the Sailor Moon franchise compared to their other franchises and how we get looked over, they don't do us right, they, there's just, I'm not gonna go into detail, but it definitely sucks on what they did with the Propica line, even though I am so happy with all the Propicas that we have gotten. I will be completely honest with you. I've bought every single one, even the recolor editions, the brilliant color ones. I bought them all. I'm telling you, this is this is for your benefit, Bondi. I'm talking to Bondi right now. It's like, if you make more Sailor Moon Propicas that are brand new, I promise you, Sailor Moon fans will show up and buy them, me included. We'd love to have more 90s ones. We'd love to have more other character ones. Oh, it'd be awesome. And I know a lot of you guys feel the same way, but I just wanted to tell you guys my thoughts on how they've been handling the Propica line, but all in all, I am extremely freaking happy with the Eternal Tiara from Sailor Moon Cosmos. I can't wait for the worldwide release of the movies. I hope it comes soon. I know a lot of you guys out there are frustrated. You guys are absolutely valid in those frustrations. Honestly, nobody really knows what is going on, what the issue is. I know it's coming. I know it's going to be great when it comes out, but I also know how frustrating it is because we got Eternal way faster than 
and we'd got Cosmos. So that's it's definitely a letdown, but I know it'll be worth it when it does come out and all of us Sailor Moon fans are gonna show up to support it. So make sure you support the official release when it comes out so we can show Toei Animation that Sailor Moon fans are serious. We will watch it and we will support it when it comes out. I appreciate you all so much. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you support my work. I plan to do much, much more videos in 2024. Good things are coming, you guys. And I really do appreciate you from, sorry, I'm hitting you guys. I forget my new mic is right there. Hopefully the sound sounds better this time, by the way. Definitely give me some feedback on that. But what I'm saying is I definitely appreciate you guys from the bottom of my, of my Sailor Moon heart. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, night, whatever time it is there. Stay awesome.